And now, your first alert five weather. Such a beautiful shot of Cheyenne Mountain this morning. Thank you, Bruce, for sharing. And then now Cheyenne Mountain is starting to melt. Looking at the top of the mountain down onto Colorado Springs, you probably will see some drips <laughs> coming off of our camera here. So we've had a good amount of moisture in the past 24 hours, mostly just rain up and down I-25 and up portions of the Arkansas River, then towards Salida into the wet mountains. We saw hefty amount of heavy wet snowfall. Some of the snow reports in the wet mountain region were over a foot 18 inches uh, near West Cliff, Rosita, Cuchara, about 12 inches near the Spanish Peaks. Uh, elsewhere, just a couple inches of heavy wet snow in our mountain areas. And because it was such a high moisture content snowfall, there are some issues with power outages, especially into Chafee, Fremont, and Custer counties this afternoon still, where thousands of customers are without power and we're going to keep this wet pattern with us. This area of low pressure that's slinging moisture to Colorado is going to move very slowly over the weekend. Eventually it will push out of the state and by Monday will be drier, but over the weekend still likely to see showers across our area. And right now we see most of our rain and snow activity south of Highway 50. We still have snow over the mountain peaks, but looks like we're looking at that rain snow line closer to 9, 10,000 feet right now. And it will drop to as low as about 8 to 9,000 feet tonight. Looking at some uh, rain towards Walsenburg and La Vida right now and into Los Animas County. So the showers right now south of Highway 50 are mostly going to stay there this evening. But again, we still have that area of low pressure overhead, so we're going to see more showers over the weekend. So Saturday morning even, we're going to see spotty showers across our area, and they'll start to move further north into the afternoon, especially by the evening. We could see some heavy rainfall along I-25 and into our foothills, and some of those showers will actually make it to the eastern plains where you have overall missed out on this moisture so far. And again, on Sunday, we're still going to keep that energy and moisture around. So we'll have some scattered afternoon showers, even some thunderstorms still on Sunday. Overall through the weekend, our severe weather threat is going to be pretty low. And the good news is we're going to be a little bit warmer, so the snow impacts aren't going to be nearly as high. Our mountain valleys in general should be seeing less than an inch over the weekend, but the mountain tops still may see a couple of inches. So temperature wise, we're in the 40s, 50s, 60s now, pretty chilly today, and we're going to stay on the cool side over the weekend. Tonight will drop to the 30s and 40s. Tomorrow, mostly 50s and 60s for highs, although our high temperatures over the weekend are going to be a little warmer than where we were in the 40s and 50s the past couple of days. So some improvement there, but if you want actually warm temperatures, That'll be next week, especially by Monday. We're going to start to warm up nicely. So for Mother's Day, there is showers possible all day long. Maybe just go on a walk if you see a break in the radar, but most of your plans should be inside. In Pueblo, 60s over the weekend, shower chances each day. Then we'll return back to seasonable 70s and 80s next week. Best chance of showers for you next week will be Wednesday with our next cold front. At Canyon City, 60s over the weekend, showers and even some thunderstorms look likely. We're going to see another chance of showers Tuesday to Wednesday with our next cold front. And for Woodland Park, we're going to see mostly rain as our precipitation over the weekend with a wintry mix possible in the overnight hours.